Jalen Rose, Des Bryant's been in the news. He's not playing football professionally for any team right now, but he live tweeted the Cowboys game. He basically said the Cowboys would have won if him and Dan Bailey were there, and they lost, and they did not look good. They looked like they could have used some Dez, to be honest with you. And you know who makes all the decisions in Dallas? Jerry Jones. So, let's take a look at this interesting picture. This is a photo of Dez Bryant and Jerry Jones in Jerry World at the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert. I have a lot of questions, Jalen Rose, a lot of questions. But first, I'll start with the obvious one. Is this an indication that potentially Des Bryant will be back in a Cowboy uniform? It's an indication that Des didn't realize he'd be unemployed at this point of the year. <laughs> yep. Jerry Jones did not realize it either. He sees what Des is saying about the organization mm -hmm. and the lack of respect and the trust that he felt like the coaches had for him. Yep. Which is an extension of Jerry, who's also the GM and probably the maintenance man for yeah. the Cowboys as well. He does everything well. for the Cowboys. He's going to make sure that his name has all of the titles. And so there's a level of responsibility that comes when they decide to release a player that was there multiple years and not offer him a different contract structure. Yeah, they, apparently they didn't offer him to sign at a discount either. And it's not like that That was news to Jerry. No one called Jerry and broke that news to him. He was involved in the decision-making process. And so that's the part of the relationship you see at the J&B concert where we kind of need each other right now. Oh. And do you think he signs at a discount? No. He don't get, they don't want him. They don't want him. No, they don't want him. So isn't that a little awkward? Like, he's no. getting on a plane and going to Dallas and sitting there for the concert. That's a that, long concert. That's why I'm saying that's this That's three to you. hours. That's what I mean by they need each other. Pretty sure he didn't have to fly nowhere. Emotionally? He didn't have to fly anywhere. They sent the plane to him. No. He's there? He's there because he's unemployed right now. That's where he's lived for the last five or so years. Why does Jerry need Dez? Just to complain about everybody else? Public relations. You have a player that's a former member of your team that's out here spitting venom about how his relationship went with the team. So you think after a few adult beverages, after, you know, after a few songs, a couple hours, it, he says, you know what, let's talk about something, Des. But when you go on Twitter and you start talking about the coaches and the team, that's not good for my business. In Jerry's head, after this meeting, he won't bash us anymore. Mm. In Des's head, after this meeting, teams won't feel like they can't add me to their team because I'm going to be a distraction anymore. Yep. The problem is you can't put that toothpaste back in the bottle. The Cowboys already released him, didn't offer him a discount. He's already had Twitter fingers about the organization. He already met with Cleveland. Nothing surfaced. Marcus Lee already got hurt with the Jaguars. They didn't ask him. Yep. The Patriots that did 20 transactions for receivers. They, they, they didn't want for him. Receivers. And he tweeted about going to Washington and they came out quick and said they didn't want him. Mm. So I think now, unless there's a catastrophic industry inj injury that takes place, he won't find a team this year. Wow. So can I get to the important questions about this event? Let's look at the picture again, right? If you see the people in the background, they're dancing, enjoying it. Do you think they sat for the entire time? Do you think Jerry Jones knows any Beyonce or Jay-Z lyrics? <laughs> Do you think Jerry Jones danced? Like, I, if I was at a concert, if I was at a J&B concert, I could not sit there politely the entire time. You're sitting there with a guy worth billions mm -hmm. that can decide right now that we're going to sign you. So I'm pretty sure that Dez wasn't drinking. <laughs> if probably, he does. He's like, probably like, water, I'll take a water. Not saying that he does. Take a water. I'm just saying how you behave in those situations. Yes, yeah, yeah, he's in a job interview. It's water, a hour job interview. lime, yeah. <laughs> eating healthy. No, no, I don't want none of them wings. You got any salad? Yeah. <laughs> Dip kale. You, you know what I'm saying? Kale, kale and exactly. goat cheese, exactly. please. Order no, healthy. Dressing on the side, please. He's saying please and thank you for yeah. everything. Being a sign and autograph. Somebody walk pictures. past and they five uh, aisles away. Like, excuse me, excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad. And so, like, in all honesty, I think that's what makes this important because it's a relationship business. He was really productive there for a really long time. Long time. He earned the respect of the fans. He earned the respect of the organization. And if J&B are in concert and he got Jerry on the phone, the players should be able to hit him up and be like, I want to come watch the show. It don't cost him anything. I'm surprised that no one picked him up. You know what I mean? I'm surprised because I've, I've had him on my fantasy team, so I pay attention to his production. It's certainly not the deep threat he used to be, but he's a red zone threat. Like, he can get you touchdowns. Like, he can he can run the fade, throw him a jump ball. Like, he's got value. Do you think that his on-field production is why he's not, you know, currently employed or some of the off-field stuff that's been part of his history? I think uh, the off-field allegations about his personality with the team have hindered him getting a job. I don't mm -hmm. think him going on social media helps either 
But when I see the Raiders now bring back Martavius Bryant after they struggled in their first game, mm-hmm. I'm looking at um, a possible job for Dez in Detroit. Because the last time I checked, Matthew Stafford threw four, and he's a 10-year veteran. Seems like we could le- use another threat out there as well. I like you putting that in the area. How many wins do you think the Lions get this year? Just say it. Too early to determine. <laughs> That's not what you said off wax. 